What kind of nation would lock someone away for a sentence with 175 years in solitary confinement without any human contact with other people who he can have a relationship without books, without proper exercise. It's inhumane. This, we should all be ashamed of this. We must stand up and say no to this. I do not accept what's going on in there. It's a charade. It's making a mockery of the whole system of Western democracy. We must say no to it. This needs to be stamped out now. If Julian Assange is allowed to be extradited to the United States, or if he remains imprisoned in Belmarsh, he will not be the last journalist who gets imprisoned. It will slowly move towards more and more journalists. More journalists will have to self-censor. Journalists that are outspoken will be deplatformed. They'll be removed from Twitter. The platforms will be removed. They won't get work, and some of them will be imprisoned and tortured as Julian Assange is. Make no mistake, his incarceration is a form of torture. He's being kept in solitary confinement. Solitary confinement is recognised by Amnesty International and many other human rights bodies as a form of torture. Before that, he was detained, arbitrarily detained, in the Ecuadorian embassy on a trumped up story. It was about some kind of charge which the Swedish prosecution refused to bring against him. It was clearly always about him being extradited to the United States. Julian Assange clearly stated that the whole plan was to extradite him to the United States. Many people disregarded him as some kind of conspiracy theorist so did British politicians and said there's no chance at all we will try and extradite him to the United States. And on the day of his illegal kidnapping from the Ecuadorian embassy, he was brought here. I came to the court on the same day and the charges were nothing to do with Sweden. They were to do with his extradition to the United States of America for truth telling. They call it espionage. Imagine if a regime in another country, for instance North Korea, committed human rights violations and a British journalist wrote about human rights violations in another country like North Korea and their government complained. Would anyone here think it would be reasonable for the British journalist to be extradited to North Korea to face a 175 year sentence? No. no! Nobody agrees with that. So why should it be acceptable? Why should it be acceptable for a journalist who reported these matters outside of the United States? Why should he be subject to their harsh, harsh policy of silencing free speech? If he was American, they couldn't try him because it would fall under the First Amendment. And I will be quiet for a moment because I will let John Rees and whoever else have a word with the journalists. But thank you for listening. Bravo! Let's throw this out. Let's throw this out.